How are you guys today? I am down at Frankie's Free Range Meat and some people are hard at work packing orders, not myself, but we have a bunch of products I am super excited to show you guys, including our Wagyu beef, cod liver oil, we have some fresh local beef as well, so many more cheeses, and we'll talk about the plans we have for the future. So for those of you wondering, while I'm losing my mind making videos every day, these two gentlemen are busy filling orders, although I do come down sometimes and help. I helped last week. For Frankie, we love it when you come down. <laughs> I always bring gifts. I brought Adam some more milk. That's true. Keep but going. Adam is the mastermind behind the meat granola, the pemmican, all, all the culinary stuff, and, and Mike as well as a professional chef, so... As we expand a bit and start doing more things, we'll be able to uh, utilize some culinary expertise, right? Very excited. <laughs> Let's get going. So we know you guys really love our 100% grass-fed Wagyu. Uh, these are the cuts we have right now. On the more affordable end, or well, I guess far too affordable end, we have the Wagyu tri-tip. You know, there's a lot of marbling throughout this cut and uh, sometimes even a little bit of a fat cap on the other side, but you know, plenty of marbling, very tender. Throw it on the grill, sear in the pan. We have the flat iron, which is tender as well. Uh, this has a high amount of marbling too. More apparent fat cap on the other side. Nice steak. Wagyu belly, a lot of you guys love this. Super fatty, and the difference between you know, Wagyu beef belly and regular beef belly. It's much more tender. You know, it has a higher monounsaturated fat content, so the flavor is a little deeper, a little richer. Really melts in your mouth. Of course, we have our ribeye and our strip steak. These are the higher marbling options. That was the ribeye. This is the strip steak. And we do have a lower marbling option that's at a lower price point. And for those of you wondering, what's the point of less marbled Wagyu, it's more flavorful, it's more tender, and I really mean it when it's more tender. This, the breed of the Wagyu is nothing like anything you'll get in the United States, any other type of grass-fed stuff. It's why this is not only the best tasting and most tender steak I've had, it's also one of the healthiest. Uh, really amazing product, that's why we're proud to carry it. And this is our local beef package that we've been selling fresh last week. On like a monthly, bi-monthly basis, we will do fresh meat. But, you know, moving forward this month, this will be available frozen. And we have some, like, Delmonico steaks in here. This is nice, yellow fat. Grass-fed, older animal. Decent amount of marbling. And we got some short rib in here, various steaks. Of course, we have some ground beef. Uh, this is, you know, local New York beef. No pesticides, no herbicides. Animals never vaccinated. Really the highest quality, cleanest meat you can get. Here we have our pemmican that's looking more and more like Reese's Pieces every day. This is non-perishable. It's easy, it's quick, it's approachable. Uh, great travel food, you know, high in calories, just grass-fed beef, grass-fed taco. You know, we have a chocolate option here. Uh, we have blueberry as well, salted, unsalted. So regardless of your dietary restrictions, we have options for that. Uh, of course, we have the canned cod liver here, but now we actually have our own cod liver oil. So this was sitting in the freezer, and as you can see, you know, fish oil doesn't freeze. It stays a bit fresher in the freezer, but we're selling this. Uh, it's on sale right now for around $50, I believe, for eight ounces of cod liver oil. This is fresh, raw, you know, no processing, no heating whatsoever. A little bit of an orange peel on the bottom here, just for a little scent. And uh, compared to the other brands out there, it's cheaper, no preservatives, from Alaska, so it's, it's minimally polluted. Whereas if you're getting cod liver from other parts of the world, you know, not as reliable in regards to a clean water source. And here we have a whole, a whole jug of cod liver oil. Imagine drinking that. A lot of you guys have said like, oh, Frank, you're, you know, the granola is expensive, you know, the pemmican's expensive. But keep in mind, guys, it's, you know, this is dried beef. So this one pound package right here of meat granola is the equivalent of like three to four pounds of beef in general. So, I mean, as we're able to expand and, you know, get better pricing on stuff, you know, we can afford to lower the pricing on some stuff. But at this point in time, you know, we're, we're not really making too much money on these products. 
as many of you guys know, our cheese selection has expanded. You know, we have Emmentaler now, we have Raclette, which is a great melting cheese, we have Manchego, we have a bunch of different cheeses that you guys should definitely check out. You know, the pricing is better than the supermarket, and it's all high quality raw cheese. Here we have, uh, this is a wheel of Grana Padano. We got some more cheeses up there. Of course, we have Frankie Boy's supply of Pellegrino. And these are the orders that we have all packed up for today. Some more up front as well. So here we have our freezer, which is pretty much controlled chaos, you know, completely jam packed full. Uh, we really need more space, and hopefully, we can, uh, you know, move into the new facility soon, which we will talk about. Here's the other freezer we have for cold storage. Again, this is completely full as well. You know, we have some chicken liver pate here, some tenderloins under there. Just boxes and boxes of stuff. It's not as full as it was uh, last week, but you know, we're definitely tight on space in here. So we've been in this space since June, July of last year when we opened. Uh, first few months, didn't make a cent. You know, we were paying too much for supplies, uh, too much for the animals. Uh, it just wasn't working. Uh, so, you know, you know, me and my business partner, Adam, have been killing ourselves for months and months and months without making any money. And starting November, uh, December, things started getting a lot better. Uh, we started turning a profit. And now we're at the point where we can safely move into, you know, a new facility, uh, break the lease on here, get more storage space. You know, that'll allow us to, you know, buy these boxes and, you know, styrofoam containers in bulk. We'll be able to store them. Uh, we'll save money on supplies and not only will we save money on supplies you know since we have more storage space we can expand our inventory you know you guys will be able to order brisket a la carte you know we'll have a bunch more steak cuts uh we're going to be exploring sourcing more iberico pork uh fish you know as we continue to expand and grow we want to add more products we want to add more variety and we really want to give you guys you know what you've been asking for uh, there, there are a couple things on the table in the immediate future, such as expanding the, the beef cut inventory. Uh, we definitely want to try to get, you know, our own jarred cod liver. Uh, we're looking at the Spanish Iberico pork. We're looking at fish. You know, we're looking at different types of wild quality chicken. You know, if we continue to grow and be successful, we'll be able to do other operations like raw dairy, you know, grain free eggs and that stuff's not going to happen until, you know, next year at this point. But if you guys continue to support us, if you guys continue to, you know, be so generous with placing the orders, uh, you know, we're looking to expand to the West Coast pretty soon. Um, I mean, you know, we pretty much need double the order volume that we have now. But if that happens, then, you know, we'll have a place out there. We'll save a lot of money on shipping and uh, things are looking good so far. Uh, but to emphasize the main goal right now, we need to get in that new facility, get things set up, and, and then figure out what we can do in there. You know, we might get like uh, some ovens and some dehydrators. We might be able to offer the jerky again. But, you know, it, it's tough because, you know, without the investors, without the upfront capital. So uh, let's see if uh, Adam has anything he wants to tell you guys. So we showed him the, we showed him the beef, we showed him the new products. Uh, I talked about how we were you know we're looking we're looking forward to expanding moving into the larger facility uh, see how many more things we can get up and running yeah uh you're, you're really looking forward to the farm next year right we uh i made an offer on 20 acres yeah and then we have to we have to get more land it's not yeah. enough land we need yeah. like 120 acres well that that's for your homestead right you're gonna get 20 acre homestead and we're gonna start ex you're gonna start experimenting 20 acre homestead to start figuring out how we want to raise, I mean, the goal is raise high quality products in the United States, starting with pork and chicken. Well, they don't know, you, you, you want to move your family, you're moving your family out of the city to the homestead. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're going to start doing some stuff on the farm. And then that's going to hopefully project onto, you know, when we save up money from the company, we can buy a larger plot of land, mm -hmm. start doing the eggs, start doing the dairy, and uh, see how that goes. We're all in. High quality food, that's the goal. Right now, though, we've been trying to get out of here for two months, right? That's, oh that's just the priority. You know, we've been talking about what products we want to add, what sourcing we want to change, getting better pricing on supplies and stuff, but we can't do it in here. We officially signed the letter of intent, the LOI. That's signed. So yeah. everything's moving forward. Have a loading dock. Won't have to 
pull all the shit in. Sounds good. Uh, Sarah went up to the second, to the fourth floor of the school. EMF meter off the charts. There's 40 kids sitting in that. It's literally the same level, higher than a micro. If you're standing next to a running micro. In the in the New York City school. They're just sitting there. They're getting baked. Cooking all these children. She tried to. She said. Uh, she sent a letter or whatever. No one. No one cares. Uh, it's higher readings than if you stand next to a microwave. It's non ionizing. Yeah. What? I mean, it's it, not might, it might not be doing anything, but oh, no, yeah, no, no. do you they're, want they're... to stand, have your kids sit next to a running microwave for seven hours? No one says yes to that. No one wants to have their kids sit next to a running microwave. <laughs> Pun punish your kid, put him, put him next to the microwave for a minute and <laughs> turn the microwave on. <laughs> Go sit next to the microwave for two minutes when you're done. <laughs> That's horrible. So, uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Of course, you can go to frankiestrangemeat.com if you want to check out these products. If you guys could please like the video, subscribe, of course, hit that bell icon. And guys, above all, please share the video if you can. You guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. I'll see you guys later on the live stream.